Hey, welcome back, lawn lovers. BW here. Hey, it's time for renovation step two. It's been eight days now since I sprayed the lawn with grass killer. Here's the larger area that I sprayed with the glyphosate only product. And here's the area I sprayed with the Roundup product containing Diquat. By the end of the second week, they should be equally brown. Even though the grass is still a little bit green, the glyphosate only area is well on its way to being dead. And the grass killer has worked its way into the entire grass plant by now. The label says not to disturb for seven days. But it also says that you can seed after seven days. The Roundup product label with Diquat says you can seed after just three days. Most product labels on grass killers recommend that you spray it on tall grass so that it's easier for the grass plant to absorb more of the product. Soy mow short after the grass has had plenty of time to absorb the grass killer. Be sure and read and follow all the directions on the label of whichever product you decide to use. Step two of renovating for me is mowing the grass short and I prefer to do that a week after spraying. I've found that if I wait any longer, the grass will begin to mat down on the ground and it becomes more difficult to mow when it does that. I'm using my little electric mower. It's a little bit underpowered for the job, but my big commercial gas mower is too big to mow grass this short without damaging the blades. You need a smaller mower that can closely follow the contour of the ground. A gas powered mower will develop more suction that'll lift up the grass for cutting as well. I wish I had a small gas mower. This job would take me about half as long if I did. I'll just have to mow it shorter a little bit at a time. I usually wait about two weeks before I seed so that I can respray any grass or weeds that don't seem to be dying. When spraying a second time, be sure to use a grass killer that lets you seed shortly after spraying so that you don't have to wait much longer to seed. I like to collect the clippings so that my grass seed can easily drop straight down to the soil surface. Seeding on top of cut grass won't be as successful. You can save the clippings to apply as a seed blanket after seeding. I usually don't find that necessary. Normally the short grass that's left when seeding will be enough to protect the seed and prevent erosion and washouts. But if you have any bare spots in your renovation, it's a good idea to save some of those clippings to cover your seed in those areas. I usually mow down to a height of about one inch and a quarter. You want to leave enough grass to protect the seed, but cut it short enough for the seed to easily make it to the soil surface. I ended up making four passes in different directions, lowering the height of cut as I went along. A gas powered mower would have done the job a lot quicker. This took me almost an hour. I repeated the same process on the other smaller part of the renovation, and that took me an additional half hour to complete. Here's an up close look at it. Notice how you can see right down to the soil surface. In step three, I'll rake and fluff up this grass before seeding. Hey, don't miss my next video. I'll be starting part three of the renovation. The last part. Until then, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and then ring the bell that pops up next to it. That way you won't miss the next video. Now quit stalling. You can do it.